Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, The Bad Wolf, and today we have Bad Wolf Comics Hall for the month of September 2023. Welcome back, True Believers, to another Bad Wolf Comics haul. Now, there are only nine books here, so it's not quite an Omnigeddon. As you know, we do need ten books to have an official Omnigeddon haul. Uh, but this is probably the largest, if not the second largest haul of the year for me. I've got some great stuff in here, folks. You're not going to want to miss this. So, as usual, I'm going to stack the boxes. We're going to pull books. Let's take a look. All right, we got our stack of books here. Let's start pulling books. Now, we're going to start off, if I remember correctly, that with the, this is this. Yes. This is a special order that I had to get from Mad Cave Studios. Uh, they're a much smaller independent company, and they don't put out very many hardcovers, but when they do, they're phenomenal. Um, I actually got the first book in the series uh, last year, and this year they released Volume 2 of Nottingham. Now this is really a brutal version of your classic Robin Hood story, uh, Robin of Loxley. Uh, the art's pretty good, it's pretty brutal. It is a standard size. Um, it does, well I'm not gonna pull it open now, but it does come with a little uh, bookmark and it comes signed by the author and the artist. And these are $50 on the Mad Cave Studios website. I believe they're limited to a three or maybe even, I think it's a 500 limited run. Uh, so I have the first book here. And it's, it's a really good series, folks. Um, I think we did an overview of this. If I didn't, uh, I will get one going soon. I'll, I'll look in through my videos and see if we did one. But if I did not do one, I will absolutely do an overview. These books are phenomenal. I highly recommend them. Uh, these books are standard size. They are signed by the author and the artist. And uh, they're, they're 50 bucks each. And like I said, there's a limited run. Now, let's see. You know, it doesn't look like the first one came with a bookmark added, but the second one did. So definitely something to check out. I highly recommend Nottingham by Mad Cave Studios. All right, let's get rid of this. Now this book came from Amazon. I know, I know. I know guys, I feel the same way. I don't usually buy stuff from Amazon. I recently had the great purge of 2023 where I sold off an entire shelves worth of books. I sold books that I wasn't just going to get to read or anything like that. Anyway, um, so in, in, in that, I did sell my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books and I, I kind of regretted that, but at the very least, I can't live without The Last Ronin. So we did buy The Last Ronin again. The reason I got it from Amazon is because it was really cheap and I, I, I had to add one more item to get free shipping. So they had one. I figured I'd give it a shot and uh, see how they did. And I got to say, it showed up in pretty good condition. I do have a ever so slight ding here, but that is because Amazon likes to do this. This was all the packaging protection they threw in here, folks. They threw this book in the box and threw this on top of it. I'm surprised it got here in good shape at all. But the reason I went ahead and did it is because Amazon does have a great return policy and if anything goes wrong, I can send it back. But this book arrived in pretty good condition, so I'm probably just gonna hang on to this. But The Last Ronin, we've already seen it, we already know it. Great book, I highly recommend it. All right, let's take everything else you see from here will be from Organic Price Books. Uh, as I've always said, 90% of my books are from them. I have, they've earned a customer for life. They may be a little more expensive than others, but they have unparalleled customer service. They respond to requests and, and, re and reply with, to uh, inquiries within 24 hours. Great place. And here's an example of their packaging. They're now using this great paper on top. And then they put it, you know, like a tank, they wrap it in this bubble wrap. Let's get rid of that. But superb packaging. I couldn't ask for better. Um, this is actually what I use when I sell books. I use recycled OPB packaging. Uh, so these guys do a great job. I couldn't be happier. Let's see what we got today. Oh, I think I know what this is, folks. Uh, let's see, we got Batman Detective Comics by Tomasi. Uh, for those of you that have read the uh, read the Batman and Robin Omnibus by Tomasi, I mean, the guy's, he's just great. I love his stuff. So we went ahead and took a chance on this. I don't usually buy Detective Comics, but this looked really good. 
Uh, I'm definitely going to get to reading this. It's not high on my reading list. I've got a lot of other stuff to do first, but uh, we'll definitely get to it. This looks really good. I'm really excited for it. Batman Detective Comics by Tomasi. All right, put this here. So that paper there. All right, some of these I haven't even opened. I just verified that uh, they were what was said to be sent. I haven't had any problems with organic price books, and that's not true. I, I've had one or two snafus where, where there were some damaged books, but JP and crew don't mess around, man. They take care of it like that. They send me a replacement, no questions asked. See, a great packaging job of the paper. Pull this out, put all that back in. All right, what do we got here? Another Marvel book. Yeah, this looks really good too, because I really enjoyed the other ones that they released. But this is Miles Morales by Saladin Ahmed. I hope I said that right. But I, yeah, I haven't really read or heard anything about this run. I just, I'm a big Miles Morales fan, so we had to pick it up. Miles Morales. That's a big book. All right. Moving on. Yes, I know. I'm supposed to cut away from me. I'm such a rebel. All right. Yeah, they always pack one bo one book per box because, you know, I don't like to wait. I'm impatient. <laughs> well, that one was done a little weird, but all right. Ah, been waiting for this for a while. Witchblade Volume 3. And I've got Volume 1 and 2. Uh, for those of you that know, um, it is a standard size book. Almost omni-sized, but not quite. But that'll go great with the other two. Uh, this was actually pushed back at one point. I really hope they do the whole series like this, because I'll just keep buying these hardcovers. I love it. I'd buy the compendiums, but they're all paperback. And I really do like the, the, the hardcover books. I'm really not a fan of paperback. I try to stay away from those. In fact, I don't even think I have any of those anymore. We've pretty gotten rid of most of those with the purge, but uh, we'll find out. Anyway, this, this should be a good read. I read the first two, great stuff. I read them all in singles when they first came out, but uh, continuing the collection, Witchblade, volume three. All right, getting through it, folks. Four more boxes to go, including this one. Let's take a look here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's groovy. I think I already know what book this is. I'll show you that as soon as we get the book. Green Lantern Corps by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason. Those guys are a powerhouse team up, man. When they get together, they make really good stuff. Really good stories, really good art. This is gonna look great with the rest of my Green Lantern stuff. And look, it came with a Green Lantern ring. That's pretty awesome, folks. A little bonus for your bang for your buck. This is gonna be a great book, man. I'm, I'm just gonna Put it probably right here between the, the third Green Lantern by Jeff Johns and uh, the Blackest Night. I'm not sure. If, if I'm wrong about that, you folks let me know about the order of these. All right. Well, that's Green Lantern Cores. It's moving on. It's an awesome ring. I'm going to put that up here. My kids don't steal it. All right. Three to go, folks. We're running through this. We're knocking them out. Let's see what we got. More great packaging. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, so here we have the Spawn Origins Collection Deluxe Edition, Volume 6. It's going to look great with the other five volumes. I read most of the Spawn series in singles when it came out, uh, but the extra-large format of these books is unparalleled. You, you won't find a better presentation on any book, in my opinion, than these right here. Um, this is by far my favorite presentation of any any special edition book I've seen. I really like these. I wish more would, would come and do this. Um, I like the slip case. I like the darkness of it. I like the fact that the eyes glow. It's just a really great collection for a really great story. 
Spawn Origins Collection, Volume 6. All right, moving on. Only two books to go, folks. Let's see here. Oh, well, this is a light one. Oh, this is a good one. I have been so excited. As soon as this is solicited, oh. Get all this packaging out of the way. Cleanup sucks after these videos, just so you know. <laughs> a pile of boxes to get rid of. This, folks, is War of the Undead Gods, the finale of the Deceased series. I can't tell you how excited I am for this book. It is at the top of my reading list. I just finished my fantastic, my new Fantastic Four custom omnibus, and this is at the top of my reading list. I'm going to read this in one sitting, probably after I finish making this video. We're going to do an overview of it in October. It's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to, to go through this and see the, the, the final conclusion of this epic story. And I hope that someday they get these in, in a single omnibus. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, we might just overview the single book. We might overview the entire series. Um, I've, I've been knocking around the idea of doing a Deceased versus Marvel Zombies, but I think I'm going to save that for next year because Marvel Zombies Returns Omnibus is coming out next month, and I don't think I'm going to have enough time to read it between the time that it, it, I get it and the time that uh, Halloween comes. So next year, folks, next Halloween, we're going to do an, a, a comparison between Deceased and the Marvel Zombies. I'm hoping by then that they solicit an actual omnibus of this stuff, because it's going to be great. But War of the Undead Gods, I cannot recommend this series enough. If you like zombies at all, DC did one of the best zombie stories ever. Like, they, it was well written, it didn't, it made sense, it wasn't stupid, it wasn't just done for the sake of doing it. Everything made sense and, and the reasons why, and it's such a great book. There were so many shock factor moments, and oh my god, it's, it's a great show, or it's a great uh, series, and I can't recommend it highly enough. Or the Undead Gods. Go get it. <coughs> Alright, folks. Last but not least. Actually, it's going to be anticlimactic after the War of the Undead Gods, because that was actually the biggest book for me of this whole, whole thing. I, I was so excited to get that. <sighs> this is also a great book, though. Amazing packaging. Thank you, JP and crew. This is Batman Under the Red Hood. Uh, Red Hood's origin story, man. What's not to like? It's going to go right here next to my Death in the Family. And uh, man, I'm excited to read this. I've already read the basic story. I already know it. Many of you already know it, but we had to get the new deluxe edition hardcover, man. It looks great. It's actually a little thicker than I thought it would be. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that's because there's a bunch of extras in the back, but we're definitely going to find out. Um, you'll probably see an overview of this maybe in December. Uh, I might do an overview of that in December. You know, Red Hood, Santa. We'll see. All right, folks. Let's get our final shot. Well, folks, that's it for our haul for September of 2023. Hope you enjoyed this video. I buy 90% of my books from Organic Price Books. For those of you that shop at Organic Price Books, don't forget to use the code BADWOLF during checkout for $2 off your order. But stick around, true believers. Bad Wolf Comics has much more in store for the Halloween season. Now, I've recently put up a poll on the Bad Wolf Comics Facebook group asking which one of these custom omnibus you folks want to see in an overview. The winner of that poll will, will be featured in our first video of the month. I've got some new intros for Halloween coming. So we're going to do the custom omnibus. We might do a custom dust jacket. I might save that for December. Uh, we're definitely going to do an overview of War of the Undead Gods. I'll have a haul for that, and I'll probably do an, uh, a video for a recommended Halloween reading. With that said, I am the Bad Wolf. This is Bad Wolf Comics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.